On the surface level, it doesn't seem like Samsung really put much thought into the Galaxy Z Fold 6. Samsung is no longer leading and innovating in the foldable space as it is been surpassed by better and more complete devices. But for one skepticism, it turns out that there might be a method to the madness. I have been pretty pessimistic when it comes to Samsung's lineup of foldable phones, namely the Galaxy Z Fold series. Pessimistic is probably too nice of a word because when looking at the rest of the market, it is abundantly clear that Samsung is no longer the market leader. As the rumors and leaks made headlines, whatever excitement I had for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 quickly dissipated. And during Galaxy Unpacked, the larger foldable seemed like an afterthought, taking a backseat to the Galaxy Ring and even the Galaxy Z Flip 6. I understand that Bucastel foldable phones aren't as popular likely due to their higher prices, along with the fact that not everyone wants or cares about the benefits of having a mini tablet that fits in your pocket. So while many, including my colleague Derek, prefer a flip phone, it's just not my cup of tea. The dream for foldable tablet phones is appearing to be a standard single screen smartphone when closed, with the surprise of the second screen revealed as you unfold them. This dream requires folding phones that are as thin as a regular flagship phone like the Galaxy S24. With the latest iteration of the dynamic and fun Samsung Galaxy Z46, Samsung inches closer to the dream. This is the lightest and thinnest Galaxy Fold that Samsung has ever made. It's also my favorite. Samsung unveiled the Galaxy Z Fold 6 at Samsung Galaxy Unpacked in Paris on July 10 alongside the new and now similarly redesigned Galaxy Z Flip 6 and a host of other new Galaxy hardware including watches, earbuds, and the eagerly anticipated Galaxy Ring. When folded, it's still roughly twice as thick as a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or an iPhone 15 Pro Max. The 7.6-inch flexible AMOLED screen still has a crease at the hinge, but it's now just 9 gram heavier than the Ultra. And where the cover screen was once too narrow to use, it's wide enough to make typing almost a pleasant experience. Of course, if you make the outer screen wider, the inner screen gets a little bigger too. And and the extra screen real estate is appreciated. A fast and powerful 5G phone, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is built on a foundation of versatility. It's a nice 6.3-inch smartphone that is easy to grip and responsive to touch. It's also a 7.6-inch tablet that is up to virtually any task, from movies to email drawing doodles to serious multitasking productivity. That main screen, by the way, is brighter and more resilient than ever and while I didn't taste its durability, I can see the extra brightness with my own eyes. It's a screen that looks vibrant and responsive indoors. With a solid One UI platform backed by Android 14 and a deep well of Galaxy AI capabilities, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is the complete package. I have enjoyed using it from the moment I picked it up in Paris then at home for hours on end. The improvements between the Galaxy Z Fold 6 dimensions and the Galaxy Z Fold 5 can be measured in a few millimeters, but they make a difference. Folded, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is slightly wider, slightly shorter, and significantly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Samsung has also managed to reduce the phone's weight. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is just 239 grams, which is only 7 grams more than the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Carrying such a lightweight multipurpose device in my hand or my pocket is a pleasure. The weight reduction helps and this phone also looks great. The new design is a welcome improvement in look and feel. It should be plenty durable and the Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and Armor Aluminium, the same material used on the Galaxy S24. Samsung refined everything from the speakers to the camera array, the buttons are flat and elegant, everything about the look says Pro, too, there is no Pro in this flagship's name. Over almost 6 years, Samsung has done all it could to strengthen 
its foldable phones and their moving parts. In the Galaxy Z Fold 6, it added more steel to the dual rail hinge and has more or less sealed it from the elements. The phone has an IP48 water resistance rating. It's worth noting that the seal is not permanent and may lessen over the life of the Galaxy Z Fold 6. There is also no real dust resistance on this phone. The 4 in IP48 means the Galaxy Z Fold 6 can withstand large objects poking its hinges, but dust and anything under 1mm might cause trouble. Samsung told me it added a new protective layer to its now thinner mini screen. It's essentially like a non-Newtonian fluid that is flexible when you are gently moving it but toughens up instantly if it encounters a hard or sharp object. Of course, even though the new screen is tougher, you can't use the same S Pen as a Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra or other flat Samsung phone or tablet, you must use the softer rubber S Pen for Ford lest you risk damaging the screen. The 6.3 inch cover screen is 2376 by 968 pixels with fully adaptive refresh rates from 1Hz to 120Hz. In general, I like using the cover screen since it isn't always practical to open up the phone and use the larger display. It's a nice little screen for web browsing, email and TikTok scrolling. It's fine for texts and messaging, though I still don't relish typing longer messages on the two cramped virtual keyboard. The screen is probably narrower than my iPhone 15 Pro Max by a solid half inch. The inner 7.6-inch screen is 2160 by 1856 pixels with a thin flat bezel. It's a very bright screen 2600 nits with a crease that is less noticeable than on previous tablet foldable phones. Don't get me wrong, you can still feel and see the crease but Samsung has done solid work reducing the little eyesore so that it's getting closer to being unnoticeable. Visually, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has a lovely, colorful, and contrast-rich tablet display, perfect for virtually any task. I enjoyed watching Netflix and Max videos as much as I liked playing games like Call of Duty Mobile and Asphalt 9. It's a great for browsing websites and long articles. In tablet mode, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is very comfortable to hold. In flex mode, which is what Samsung calls it when you fold the screen 90 degrees and set the Galaxy Z Fold 6 on a flat surface, the display is useful for video watching and video calls, though I didn't like typing on it. As smartphones look more and more alike, so manufacturers differentiated their designs with unusual and sometimes ill-conceived camera arrays. If I were in charge, I'd aim for stability or at least what Samsung has done with the Galaxy Z Fold 6, polish and professionalism. The three camera array on the back is prominent, but I like how each lens looks a bit like a prosumer camera lens. That's the good news. The not so good news is that Samsung didn't do much to upgrade this array and the cameras on the last Z Fold 5 were a disappointment. This is essentially the same camera specs as you'll find on the Samsung Galaxy S24. Here is how the three cameras break down. 50 megapixel wide angle, f1.8 aperture, 12 megapixel ultra wide, f2.2 aperture, f field of view is 123 degrees, 10 megapixel 3s optical zoom with aperture 2.4. It's a good set of cameras and I took dozens of lovely photos in Paris under all sorts of conditions. Colors and sharpness are good across the board. Low light performance is generally fine. Macro photography is non-existent. Portrait mode image of people and pets was gorgeous. I'm especially impressed with the color quality and details. This is clearly due to Samsung's significantly updated Pro Visual Engine which is the computational bit of a Samsung smartphone photography pipeline. It just gets better and better at understanding reality. That's it, Samsung still makes skies too blue. Here is some camera samples of Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6.
Even with these designs and minor camera updates, the real story of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is Galaxy AI, Samsung's artificial intelligence platform that reaches into photography, image editing, text messaging, search, writing, drawing, health, and translation services. These powerful tools, which arrived more or less fully formed with the new foldable phone, are more than useful, they are often fun. Key Galaxy AI features include but are not limited to circle to search, sketch to image, interpreter, note assist, and chat assist. I have tried all these Samsung Galaxy AI features, sketch to image, which works best if you have access to an optional S Pen made for Fold, is good at turning simplistic line sketches into usable art. I drew in the notes app sketches like a simple apple or a tooth and each time Galaxy AI turned it into something attractive and useful, usually with a few options to choose from. It's a feature that wowed most people I showed, but they also expressed a skepticism about whether they might use it. Perhaps more useful is the sketch to image on photos which let me add photorealistic elements to existing photos. I put a dog next to me, added a bird on my head and shoulder, sketched seagulls into a Paris skyline, and removed objects from other photos. In all instances, the results were convincing. Right down to shadows cast by the AI objects, AI altered images automatically get an AI generated content watermark. I used the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 to record numerous meeting notes and then let my Galaxy AI transcribe the conversations. It even automatically summarized them. The results were, as far as I could tell, fairly accurate to the original source material. For as good as much of this Galaxy AI is, it does still feel like a work in progress. Sketch to image can't generate fresh images of a detailed drawings and often encouraged me to create small objects. A sketch of Notre Dame, for instance, could not be used to generate a better image. Some of the sketch to image photo generations were significantly different than my initial drawings for now. These are rough tools that create content that is at best inspired by your scribbles. I used the generative field tool to remove people from behind me in a selfie and the system impressively filled in the space left after their removal with a background that matched the surroundings. Beyond doing a competent job, these Galaxy AI tools are easy to use. Case in point, the interpreter. The interpreter lives under the quick panel, but you can move to your home screen. Fold the phone into flex mode and it's quite easy to let the system detect the language of the speaker and start interpreting. It can either interpret a foreign language speaker or do real-time two-way translation. So the person facing you sees what you are saying translated into their language and you see on the main screen their words in a language. The AI feature works well, but I quickly realized that when I already had a language barrier explaining to someone how to use this feature was a problem, I later used the Galaxy AI Translator to live translate a Spanish TV show. The translation was not always exact, but it was close enough to be useful. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 represents Samsung's latest in performance hardware. It has a larger vapor chamber, which should help with heat dissipation, especially during intense activities like gaming. In my gaming experience with S Fold 9, I didn't notice the phone getting warm, so maybe the vapor chamber is doing its job. Not only does the Galaxy Z Fold 6 use Qualcomm's latest silicon, but it also gets a bespoke version of the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy Chip, which gives a small boost to clock speeds. This is backed by 12 GB of RAM. In our lab test, my Galaxy Z Fold 6 benchmarks are significantly high, especially on the GPU side. Apple's iPhone 15 Pro Max and the new A17 Pro chip still beat the Galaxy on Gen 6, but the gap is narrowing and it's hard to imagine a task the Z Fold 6 wouldn't easily manage. I shot 4K 30fps video with the phone and then edited 4 instances for the clip in Adobe Premiere Rush without any issues.
storage starts at 256 GB, which is not bad, but I think Samsung should have offered 512 GB. You can up the space to 1 terabyte if you are willing to pay 2259 US dollar at least. A word about these prices, the Galaxy C46 is an expensive handset starting at $1899 US dollar but Samsung usually has fantastic trade-in deals and sales and it's unlikely you will pay full price. So be sure to shop around before buying. The Galaxy Z46 uses a 4400 mAh dual battery and between our lab tests and my own testing I'd say you can expect between 10 and 11 hours of battery life depending on your display settings and other factors. Should you buy Samsung Galaxy Z46? If you want a pocket sized tablet then go for it. The great thing about the Samsung Galaxy Z46 is that you can use it all day as a beefly 6.3 inch and now more usual smartphone sized screen or unfold it into a very thin and beautiful tablet and all at a size and weight that doesn't feel like you are carrying to device. If you are ready to try a foldable phone, then go for Samsung Galaxy Z46. This is one of the best foldable phones on the market. There are cheaper models, but few combine this level of design, performance, and AI for a true two-in-one you may not find better. If you want AI now, then go for Samsung Galaxy Z46. While some companies are promising AI later, Samsung Galaxy AI is here on the Samsung Galaxy Z46 and it's actually impressive and sometimes very useful. Don't buy Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 if you are looking for an affordable foldable. The Galaxy Z Fold 6 is more expensive than ever and even though there are deals apparently, you can find a foldable that starts at a far lower prices. Don't buy Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 if you think a flagship should have flagship cameras. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 cameras are good but not the best Samsung has to offer. If you want more zoom and better quality, look elsewhere. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is Samsung's most comprehensively thought out foldable to date. The cleaner, more pro design looks fantastic. It's comfortable to hold and pocket and is far more versatile than your average phone. It's thinner with a less noticeable crease and that's a major bonus. So is the banked in Galaxy AI which is not always useful but can be tremendous fun. The cameras could be better but I still like the images they capture. The price may be my single biggest sticking point but you may want to hunt for good deals because the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is so worth it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.